Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Andrea here. If you're new, welcome, I hope you enjoy this video and you'll come back and watch more. And if you've been here before, thank you so, so much for coming back. I know it has been a while, thank you for understanding. Um, yeah, I'm going to be colouring a little bit in this book. This is Creative Havens, Dazzling Diana Designs by Jessica Mazakovich. Now it's very 50s style. I love the 50s. Um, I'm going to be using my Winsor & Newton Pro markers because uh, I just like the pens. And we're going to have a colour and a quick catch up. So we're going to be doing this picture. I've got a piece of paper in it ready. Um, and I'm going just going to put this here. So let me zoom in a bit. Sorry about the shadow at the moment. I have not got a plug for my lamp. So I'm just going to move that there. That's it. So I can sign it. Um, I will find one and then I'll be able to plug it in. So, first of all, I just want to say, how are you all? I hope you are well. We are okay here. As you know, things have been a bit awful. Finding time to film is very difficult. It was at the beginning of the month because Jennifer was on Easter break. These are very wet. Now she's back at school so it's not so bad now but I'm still very busy because as you know my father passed away in February and I've been having a, a tough time because I'm starting to think what's the point in any of it. I know we have to carry on. He wouldn't want us to give up. But I've, it's that existential crisis that can happen when somebody you care about very much dies. Thinking, I'm learning. I'm learning stuff all the time. But what's the point? Because when I die, it's going to be gone. Nobody's going to have it. Why? Why am I bothering? <laughs> yeah, so it is that sort of thing. Uh, but other than that, I am not going to give up. I am going to stay and look after Jennifer for, a, a, you know, she's still young. And I'm also having to help look after my mum. My mum is currently not very mobile. Um, she broke her ankle just before Covid. Or just as Covid was kicking off. And the hospital told her not to go in because of Covid. So she had a year where she had a broken wrist and a broken ankle. Not, not good. Not at all. So her mobility has been limited since then. But my dad didn't help because when she did finally get to the hospital, have her x-ray, have, have plaster and boots, etc, etc. And all that sorted. And when it finally came off... Every time she'd try and go and help him, he'd tell her to go and sit down. Because it took her a long time and she got in his way. So, of course, he's passed away now and she hasn't really been doing very much for herself because of, of that for the last three, four years. So now I'm trying to get her more mobile. But, of course, after he passed away, when my brother was here, she fell over. She was getting up and she fell. And she cut her lip very badly on the carpet. Uh, it's all right now. That's completely healed. But of course, any confidence she had of getting up and going sort of took a nosedive. She also sprained her back in the, in the process. And it's still hurting now. It's a lot better. Um, but it's slow going. Then, just after Chris went back, she fell again. But it, she's... From what I understand, she was trying to hold on to the table and her hand slipped off and she just fell off. She didn't hurt herself, but she couldn't get back up properly. So I had to go get up at, I think it was quarter to four in the morning she rang, and go and get her back into bed and sort her out. Because she sleeps in the living room. She doesn't want to go back upstairs because that's where she found Dad. Not dead, he wasn't dead. He was, he'd had the stroke, he was still alive, he was foaming at the mouth. And she don't want to go back upstairs after seeing that. And I do understand that. And that's fine. I'm not going to pressure her to do that. As long as she tries to do everything. But the, the annoying thing is, the day she fell out of bed the second time, she'd actually gone and got up and made herself a cup of tea without 
was using a, a simmer frame which she uses to just give her a bit of support. So that's not to confidence for six completely back. So what we've got, she's got a tray on her zimmer frame with a cup holder and now I'm trying to get her to come out and make, make a cup of tea, make her own cup of tea and take it back in on the frame. So uh, today I found a cup that actually fits, she did do one today. Um, so she'll be using that all the time now when she goes to make a cup of tea with me. And um, then the next step is for her to get her own breakfast, get her own lunch and get her more mobile so she can go and do things like, excuse me, um, just have a cup of tea, make her lunch, make her dinner. At the moment she wouldn't, she's not capable of that. It's, it would be too difficult. So um, that's the plan now is that next week we're gonna get her to try, or well, I am because I'm the only one here, and get her to go outside and have a walk because we're going away in oops uh july and she's coming with us at the moment she would not be able to walk from the car to the service area let alone get up to the house so the plan is get her outside oh i'm tired and then hopefully she'll be able to move around and be a bit more mobile and she wants to come on holiday because we'll be going to the beach the place has got its own little swimming pool and that, that would be really nice um for her to try and have a holiday now jennifer is doing really well she obviously is upset her grandfather's not here because they were so very close um she is terrified of losing anybody else um even last night she said to me i think that the cat will die soon and i'm like what she said i think the cat will die soon i said well why why do you think the cat's gonna die soon she said well everything dies i said well yes but the cat's not even three she could live to be 20 that's a long time she was like oh I said, I don't think things are going to start dying at you. They might, they might not. Barring a serious illness or an accident, Zed probably won't die for a long time. And she said, oh, right, okay. And, you know, it's heartbreaking to hear a six-year-old who doesn't really understand lifespans and how long things can live, but she knows that things die. Um, in a way, it would have been better if she'd, he died when she was a lot younger because she wouldn't have known him as well as she did. But <sighs> at least she's got her memories. She did get upset one night last week saying, I want my granddad and we had a good cry together. And I cuddled her and I said, I want my dad too, because I do. I'm angry at him for leaving mum the way she is. I'm angry at him for that, but he couldn't help it. He'd be here if he could. And he wouldn't have wanted to suffer and have to be taken care of, which if he had survived it, he would have. Because he would have hated that. And I know he would have, because he's told me that in the past. He went without any pain, and which is what he wanted. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, but Jennifer's doing, still doing really well at school. Reading is coming on lovely. Uh, they're learning about animals and that food comes from animals at the moment. They're going to a farm soon. She's looking forward to that. Now, I am thinking of getting an external mic for the camera. So let me know how the sound is. I'm not sitting that far away from it, but I'm thinking of getting a Rode mic. They are expensive. Well, about 80 quid. It's not that bad. But the one I would get wouldn't be a big, massive one. But let me know. Should I? Do you think it's worth it? Do I need it? It might make it sound a bit better, but I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, yes, yeah, so we're off on uh, to Somerset in the summer and my older brother should be coming home around that time as well. So, but he's coming home for four weeks, three to four weeks. So he might even be gone back that week we go away, um, but he should be back for a few weeks before that, which is great. And then we've got to the end of August to get her to a point where she can manage on her own. I mean, if she orders bloody takeaways every day, I don't care. Because we're going away again. And at the moment, 
I'm not sure whether or not we can leave her. It's it's hard. It is really hard to know what to, what's best to do. But she wants to be independent again, so you've got to push her. Because like me, i got to be honest, if it was me, I wouldn't want to get out of bed either. I wouldn't want to do anything. I don't. I have to because of Jennifer, but I don't want to do anything. So... But it's okay, we're, 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 we're all right. We went to Somerset to charge for a few days. You saw that in a weekly vlog. Um, that was good, I enjoyed that getaway. I enjoyed driving around. It was, it was really nice. Now, I like um, driving, so it doesn't bother me once I, you know, once I get, once I know where I'm going and that, I'm fine. Got my little phone holder now in the car, so I just gotta set it up and off we go. I think I am still very, very tired. Um, of course, I'm looking after Jennifer and I'm looking after my mum as well. Trying to help her out anyway. I'm Encouraging. She does. I mean, she does get up and go to the bathroom. Like, she hasn't got a commode or anything. She actually gets up and goes. They luckily got a downstairs bathroom, downstairs toilet. She has a wash every day, so she's clean, which I'm glad because at one point she wasn't, and I was getting really worried that she was getting going to get depressed and stuff. But she's having a wash every day and and changing and I mean mostly her pajamas. But next week I'll be getting her dressed to go out. And I said we only got to go to the corner. But she goes to the bathroom and stuff like that. So she can do it. I think she's just lost her, her confidence. And her back is hurting. And she probably hurt her back again when she fell the second time. So it sort of put her back a bit. But reading is... I haven't read much the last couple of days. Because again, this existential crisis I'm having is like, what's the point? Once I'm gone, it doesn't matter whether I've read it or not. And that's not me. But I am colouring because it takes my mind off of things so I'll probably try and read tonight I think it's just it, you go through phases like that it's part of the grief you sort of think oh what's the point is there any point well yes of course there's a point you know go See, I really like this. I like this 50s style. I like the 50s cars and, and everything. I'm just going to go around the edge of eat. Well, not, yeah, well, around the edge here. So I think things that I, I, I wanted to learn from my dad and see with him that I will never do, and that upsets me, but I could do it on my own, and I probably will when I feel more it's hard to say how um inclined when i feel better about him not you know it's never gonna go away i mean it doesn't hurt every day it's always there this loss but it, it's not i don't feel like my heart's being ripped out anymore i did when it first happened obviously uh, i still wish he was here But, you know, I want to go on holiday. I want to go abroad. I'm not spending as much money anymore. I'm not buying a lot of current books. I am buying an odd one here and there. So, for instance, I did buy uh, the current colouring heaven one, which I think was The Little Mermaid. I'm not sure how I feel about it though. I like the pictures, pictures are beautiful. Um, I don't know, there's something about it that's not quite gelling for me. I will colour in it. Did I colour in that? Yeah, I did. Sometimes it's hard with the, the light colours to see if you've coloured everything. I know I'm going ever, ever, ever so bad on that, but never mind. It's a bit of fun. So, 
Neon signs. Gotta love them, haven't you? So I am trying to watch current videos as and when I can. It is very difficult because Jennifer monopolises the TV still. And I, I'm not home as much to watch as I was before. But I do. I, I like when I'm doing the wash something and washing out, which I'll be doing a lot of this weekend. I tend to uh, do it. And then I'll... Oh, gosh. <sighs> Excuse me for yawning so loudly at you, it's just, that's a nice bright pink. I'm going to have to pause this while I go get Jennifer in a bit. So. And then I don't know when I'm going to have to finish the filming. I do like this book. I wish I'd coloured in it before. I've got so many books still uncoloured. It's nice to pull one out that I haven't coloured in and I just have a go at it. There are tons. I've pulled a couple more uh, Dover books. More of the Creative Haven ones. Tessellations is one of them and some sort of pattern book. I can't remember what one it is. Um, I don't know where I've put them. I think they're back on top of the pile, but they're on top of the pile for me to actually take out. If that makes any sense. Right. Is that the colour I want? Let me just check. What's this? Bit of, oh, that's photo paper. Oh, here's a scrap piece. Oh, I was printing um, something up the other day and the printer went a bit, uh, it's a bit too light. Ow, that's in my, my hair getting stuck. Uh, maybe. I'll use that one, that's fine. What colour is this? This is the sky blue. So I've got to keep checking the time because I have got to go and get Jen in 10 minutes or so. So. I would go even lighter blue, but it's going to dry a lot lighter, so. I would love a classic car like this. I just think these colours were so beautiful. I mean, okay, they weren't very fuel efficient, but oh, they were gorgeous. There is just something about the 50s to me. I mean, I know at the moment the 80s is having a bit of a resurgence. People are loving the 80s. I'm not sure why, but there you go. I love the 80s because I grew up in the 80s. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up in the 80s. I don't see, I mean, I still love the music. I still love the clothes and, but there you go. I do, you know. People are loving it, the kids are dressing up in 80s stuff and filling their rooms with 80s memorabilia. To me it just seems like yesterday so it seems a bit odd. It's not obvious, it's 40 years ago. <laughs> it seems like it's yesterday. I wish it was yesterday. Actually I wish it was still the 80s. <laughs> For various reasons. Because I was still, you know, a kid. But... It's funny when you're a kid and you grow up. I mean, it must have been weird for my mum in the 80s when a lot of people were dressing in the 50s. It seems to be that you want to dress 30 or 40 years younger, 40, 50, 30 or 40 years before you were born at some sometimes. And I, it happened, people in the, the 80s, we were into the 50s. A lot of 80s fashion was inspired by 50s fashion. 
So, you know, all the all the fluorescence that we had in the 80s, they had previously in the 50s. So we, but we had leg warmers. They had socks. My mum had fluorescent socks in the 50s. So it's no different. It's just it's just funny, you know. Big hair and big shoulders, that was the 80s. Puffball skirts, me. Leg warmers, never had a pair of leg warmers. Jelly shoes and bags. It's, it's weird when you think about it. The things that we had in the 80s. Obviously Rubik's cubes, you can still get those. Lego, that's been going around for donkey's years. Taking your films to be developed at the chemist. Or the one hour place, depending on if you had one. I remember going, even in the, the, the 90s, going to the chemist in Risca. Chemist is still there. Obviously they no longer take film. He used to go and he's come back in a blue and white packet. I remember it, I really remember it, going to get a roll of film back and being excited to see what was on the film. It's, it's, it, it, you don't have that these days, everything is a media and while that is great in some ways it's also a shame because it's a generation that expects everything immediately and life isn't immediate, it's not always and yeah. Technology, are we too reliant on it? I think so sometimes and if anything ever happened and it went down, we'd all be stuffed. Well, yeah. I think that's what, was it Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell? It's about as one of them. I can't remember, it's one I've read where the internet, everything goes off. There's periodically there's bits of it, it, it fluctuates in that, there's not much electricity. It's a good book, just very dystopian about what might happen. Hopefully it never will. But you don't know. If we have a war, a nuclear war, it will. So. I'll just finish the top of the car. And what I do is I will wrap up the video there because I've got to go and get Jennifer. But we will come back and do some more of this one in a couple of days. Um, she has got a birthday party on Saturday, so... Oops. Sorry. And maybe if she is um, she's out and I've I'm back for mum's after doing her stuff, I can do a bit more of this with you. I don't want to do too long videos. If you like them longer, let me know and I'll try and do long ones. Um, but at the moment I'm just trying to to, to say hello because I haven't haven't really spoken to you for a while obviously and I'm trying to get back into a rhythm of trying to do things so I do have a, a little period after I've done mum's lunch before I have to get Jen where I can come and this is what this is this is we haven't done much we've just done the signage and the cars so I'll have the lights sorted out by next time um, let me know if you think a microphone would be a good thing and if you do I will get it. I feel like I should do more today. I just don't have the time unfortunately. I will try and get back to you soon with another one. It's only a 24 minute video. I will try and get a longer one to you soon but I hope you've enjoyed this quick catch up and I will see you again very very soon so thank you for sticking with me thank you for being very very patient it is appreciated and i will see you very soon all right bye everybody